Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. Today, would you believe we're hunting more books? I mean, I, just, I think it's getting a little bit repetitive now, but welcome to the game. If you haven't seen the last video, basically what we're aiming for here is, is 100 uh, harvesting duels so that we can get out the loot table, which will open up more of the loot table for me in terms of workstations and vehicles. Obviously, if you don't put points in Miner 69er, you don't have to worry about that, but Miner 69er is such a necessary perk for me because I have absolutely no patience and I need that to be able to tolerate the mining mechanic without turning up damage values basically but if we can get four grease monkey or whatever they're called what are the vehicle adventures uh we can get a mini bike which would be a substantial upgrade which is so weird because i usually skip them all the time but i mean motorcycles are even further away so that's gonna suck and workstations would be useful because i do need a chemistry station and a crucible even if i'm not going to build like a horde base i will need these so there's still definitely something i want to consider and of course a big one is going to be better clubs and better shotguns because those are my things right now so let's go and find some POIs I haven't yet messed with maybe there's another town there's Trader Hugh way up there who doesn't seem worth it is there another road out of this town hmm let's go up here and see if this road leads anywhere and if it'll take me to another town with like another trader even though I can't reset book POIs it would still be extremely valuable to find a book POI because whatever way you slice it getting you know 40 books which are going to be weighted towards something I need is going to help me in some way. You know, if I get like 20 mining books and 5 shotgun and club books, that's fine because it just means I'll have less time spent hunting down more of those mining books. Even though it would be much more satisfying to roll into the cracker book and get like 40 <laughs> vehicle adventures magazines. It's the same either way. One's just more satisfying. <laughs> By the way, just a bit of a service announcement while I have some people on this video. Uh, one, we hit 50,000 subscribers. Yay. Uh, well done, everybody. Pat yourselves on the back. Anyway, if you're wondering where the other series that I'm doing at the moment is, the one with Lainey, that is going to be two times a week because obviously it's very difficult to schedule recording sessions and streams with people who are on other continents from you although the time zones aren't too difficult to work with east us to british is like a five hour difference which is workable um but it is still something that i've chosen to do twice a week rather than five times or three times out of fairness to the other person i'm dragging through this <laughs> So expect to see that twice a week, rather than it being like the full thing or being every other day. And once this series ends, assuming it doesn't end at the same time as the series with Laney, I would expect another game to take its place briefly. So we'll be moving to some other game three times a week with the Laney series carrying on. And then once the Laney series ends, we'll bring in another Seven Days to Die series three times a week. And we'll be back to my pre-Christmas schedule of three Seven Days to Die videos, two non-Seven Days to Die videos. Videos. Not sure what games I want to do yet. Medieval Dynasty has been fun, but I don't know if it's any good for making videos on. Have I got lockpicks on me? I do. Let's check this police car. Complete waste, but I can always go to the wasteland and hunt down police cars much later in the game anyway. Scope, some ammo, a spear, and a first aid kit. Cool. Oh, another police car. This one is also locked. Let's get some loot out of this one as well. Level 5 wooden club. Thanks, game. But the ammo's nice at least. Right, so that road does not lead anywhere. That's concerning because I don't see any other routes out of this town. This looks like one, but I've checked and it's not. It's the only road out of this town to the north? Oh my god, that's going to be so painful to find things because the easiest way to find other traders is to basically just follow main roads and you'll get taken to other patches of the A-Town thing. I, I'm hesitant to call this a city and I'm hesitant to call these town when they're touching many cities, but whatever. Well, we came all this way. We might as well loot some stuff around here. There's a mailbox I've not touched with a book I've already read. Well, shit. What tier are you? See, I can probably do this then. I'm holding off on tier fours until I get a proper pump action shotgun. The double barrel's good, but if there's like five zombies coming at you, it's not going to help as much as a pump action would. Red tea, nice. It's so dark in here. I have my bright- don't I have my brightness up to 100? And it's still this dark, jeez. There might be a biker in here. I have to be careful. This is insane nightmare. Oh, that was poorly timed. There's the other guys in here. I know you're around here somewhere. There's one. Oh, my bow went crazy there. There we go. Anyone else? He's still alive, obviously, but 
Am I good? I think I'm good. Right, let's get the axe out and chop open this passing gas container. Might give me a vehicle book or maybe just something else. Yeah, tools digest as I expected, which is why we need to get rid of it. Two clue, nice. Right, so sometimes when you round this corner, and by sometimes I mean very frequently, there's a feral. I'm gonna be a bit more cautious here. God, this lighting is terrible. Hi there, Feral. I got lucky he's actually in there now, so made that much easier. Anyone in here? Oh, books, hello. Paper. Ew. Right, there's almost always someone in here as well. Oh, and he's also a Feral. Fun. Hey, you go hit that door. Right, there's usually a dog out here as well. You know, some people really hate when I do this, by the way, when I know where all the zombies are in POIs. Like I can do anything about it. I wonder if they want me to get amnesia. That's about the only solution. I suppose you could play with those awful, terrible, disgusting, vile player-made POIs. Uh, but I don't feel like opening a random door and being attacked by 37 feral whites. Some people shouldn't be allowed level design tools, and that's okay. Because I don't have to play them, unlike the ones in this game. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Double barrel shotgun and quality 5, nice. Might you do a pump action at quality 1? I can find the steel. Hmm, soup. Anyone in here? Probably should have had my weapon out, just in case there was. And we usually get one in here. Hi. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Hey there. Ooh, up the fence. Ow, oh, the barbed wire got me. That's annoying. Big hitters and a bipod. Might be useful. I dislike this room. No one's in there. Hey, food. Home cooking weekly and some peas. Can I see one zombie, please? We get smacked in the back of the head. Here's one guy. Works for me. Right, let's go bring them downstairs and get them caught on doorways. Just easier that way. Hey, you stuck? Well, that's kind of funny. Well, one of you come through. Oh, he's popped. That works. Stop crawling, that's illegal. Shotguns, coffee, some ammo. Two skill points. Putting that again into intellect, because I'm going to need like eight of it for when I want to get vehicles and stuff. Here we go. Probably everybody, right? No, oh, a couple more. Ow. He sounded further away. Hey, when they do that. Oh, fuck off, bitch. Jesus fucking Christ. Where'd the other guy go? I fucking hate it here. Um, now you know what? This one errant first aid kit's kind of annoying me anyway. If I find another first aid kit in the loot, I'm going to shit myself with rage, though. So, be prepared for that. Someone is in here. Where are they? Hi. Oh, please, no first aid kit. Okay, cool. Right, let's check the end loot. Like the actual container. Tools digest, a couple first aid bandages, batter up, and armor mods and ammo. Cool. Nothing amazing, but my clothing remains unstained from the shits of rage. Which is not a sentence I think anyone has ever said before. That's always fun. Home cooking weekly, cool. Now, there's another container in here somewhere. Let me let me spend centuries digging that up just to satisfy those one or two loot goblins who demand I know where every weapons bag and every POI is. But also because I do kind of need like shotgun books so it makes sense. Ah there we go. Uh, big hitters that's an alternative book I will also accept. Plus a muzzle break. I'm gonna eat. Oh, I don't want to eat. I'll waste that. Ah uh, you know core paper can fuck off. There's also a thing on the roof, or a way out on the roof. I assume there's loot up here as well. Maybe just a duffel bag? No, nope. I've been fucking scammed. To be fair, maybe that's how you're supposed to find the weapons bag? Is there like an obvious spot I'm missing? I don't fucking know. I'll just figure it out the way I did before, which was that looks funny. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Gonna need a real big full breath of stamina to get over this. There we go. And again. Right, so I am completely full of loot, so I'm probably just gonna go back to my base. Can I make uh, pump shotguns yet? I can, I could make a level 1. Should I wait though? The thing is, is I don't have steel anyway. How close am I to getting level 2s? Because a level 2 is still kind of shitty, but it's better. And if I only need oh, another 8 books, fuck off. That'll take centuries. Uh, let's go make a level 1 pump action. I mean, what's the harm, right? Uh, we're gonna get 15 steel. You know, I'll worry about the 15 steel when I get back to my base. I have too much stuff on me anyway to go gather steel. Although I'm seeing a bunch of these uh, three or four lampposts out here, so that would be good to remember because they're quite good for steel. Okay, so back at base, let's make a level one pump shotgun, which will hopefully be a considerable upgrade for my level one double barrel. So I need a shotgun part. There's one. Uh, 15 forged steel, that's probably going to be something I have to hunt down, that's fine. 
three duct tape. There's three. 20 scrap polymers. And three springs. There we go. Level one versions of all these guns are very cheap to make. I've never noticed that before because I rarely ever did it before. Um, steel. Might be worth checking the trader. 15 steel isn't crazy expensive. Let's see what other shit I can maybe sell them while I'm there. Alright, there's a bunch of stuff. Let's go and see if Trader Joel even has any steel, first of all. But more importantly, if I can afford 15 of it. He does have the steel. It will cost 2,000. Probably isn't worth doing sugar butts, but I could also get more profits off my other stuff, so maybe it would be. Either way, he's not selling any, so let's just buy it. Selling this other stuff first. We go 8,000 and buy 15 steel. Any good books, by the way? No. Okay, let's go make that pump shotgun. There we go. While we wait for that to craft, let's go take down another POI. I need more books, goddammit. I really want vehicle adventures. Maybe I should check Jen, because I don't think I've checked her this trade cycle, and if she's got like three in there, that would be really helpful. Hey, a vehicle adventures, that's pretty good. Alright, three more. Then I'll be saved from the bicycle hell. Stun baton. Some somewhat useful books there as well. Hey, a police car. Oh, a pure mineral water. Nice. Plus some shotgun shells and a pipe machine gun. The pipe machine gun's not very helpful, but the shotgun shells are. Alright, Jen, tell me you got some vehicle mags in here. Or other useful things, I suppose. Um, no. No, she doesn't. Well, she has two beakers, because the game likes to spit on me like that. But I'll take all these first aid bandages. And, you know, what? I can also make first aid bandages, so I'll take the uh, aloe there. I haven't found the desert yet, so may as well. Alright, nothing there from Jen. Oh wait, did I loot these? I did. I just closed the doors behind me, because I'm respectable. Um, right, so I want to go check out those gas station POIs nearby then, I think. Would be the best use of my long, long cycle out here, I think. <laughs> Lockpicks and a tools digest, cool. Alright, let's go in there and see what we can get. Oh, this is only a tier 1. Did I bring my wrench? I did not. I could have got steel from these gas pumps. Hi, guy. Anyone else back here? Oh, cardboard box. Sandwich. Who puts a sandwich in a cardboard box? Some murky water. Right. Let's see if I can get any sneak attacks here at all. Here's the bit to run to if I need to escape. Hello, biker. Stay down. Stop resisting. There we go. Pop that open. Now, isn't there... No, there isn't a passing gas container up there. Must be thinking of the wrong POI. They all start to blend together sometimes. Some somewhat useful stuff there. What's in the minivan? Right. I mean, I need gas. I'll take that two gunpowder as well. Right. Let's try and get some sneak attacks on here as well. Oh, another biker. Fuck off, game. Stop being a fucking weirdo for the worst. And you know it. Get up here. Ow. Come on, last guy. He dead. No, he's not. Right. We done. We done. Let's get the loot. Splint. Ammo. Book I know. Boots I don't need. But the blueberry pie is nice. And two tools digests. Well, they do contribute, but they're not as satisfying as the real thing, as we know. Oh, fuck that wandering horde, by the way. It's bloody army zombies. Ooh. Let's keep searching. This place got any, like, vehicle crates or anything like that? only a tier zero, so the short answer is probably not, but it also might. Hang on, let me try and jump the fence. Also, I should check this. Ah, vehicle adventures. Not where I expected to find that, but I'll take it. Electronics crates are an okay source of it, though, I suppose. Not the best, but they'll, they'll do. More nerdy glasses, because this game is so funny. There's two loot in this tile thing. Weird. Didn't I see an actual electronics store around? Hmm. That would also be a decent way to get some vehicle adventures. If I can get, like, one skill point... Oh, this is locked. If I can get, like, one skill point and put that into Grease Monkey, I could probably just barely twist the loot table of the electronics crates in my favour. But that might be worth doing. That's not what I was trying to do. We've got a food pile. Home cooking weekly. Come. Is there no actual electronics crate or anything in here? Well, why would I have an electronics crate, really? Car wash. Uh, where's my bike? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go have a look around for maybe some electronics stores then.
or similar places that might have that kind of loot. I wonder what crates the high school has. It's not going to be very easy to break in there though. Not with my 50% block damage, so I'll probably just leave that. Here's another electronics truck, but have I searched this one? Yes, that's annoying. Into the city. Although, I think there is an electronics truck in this uh, power station POI. I just have to be kind of careful not to get ripped to shreds going in there, which I shouldn't. It's just the entrance, is it not? Oh, it's an army truck. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Hello. They're still beating the shit out of things over here. I think I saw an electronics store down here, though. Yeah, this. Has a couple crates in it, I think. Now, here's a question. Have I been here? I have been here. Well, close that behind me. Uh, right. So, the electronics store could have a couple of crates. There's also zombies and a dog. Let's deal with those. Better do it on my terms. Come on. I forgot where I was. Right, let's see. Zombies, hello. Really one up here, right? There's a door. Hello? I know one of you's in here. Whoa, hey. And then there's a crate back here. Do I have a skill point? No. Well, I'll just take my chances. Hiding and traps, kind of what you would expect there. Let's check up here. Anything in this area? This is weird. What what caused this? There's no like bomb or anything. Hi. Okay. How, how do you actually get in this office again? Locked there. Oh, do you go in through the roof? That seems like a bad idea. Oh, hey, medicine cabinet. Ah, shit. Grab the key. Run away. Follow me outside. This is far too dangerous territory. Did I get anything good there? Boots. There we go. Hang on, I think I attracted other people. Is there more of them or is that just the one? Just the one. Right, so there's filing cabinets in here. Explosives and fists. Shotgun, uh, ammo, check the safe. Nothing too helpful there, but hey, it's better than nothing. Big hitters and shotgun weekly. That's schematic, I already know. Let me check these as well. I don't think I'm going to get anything good from them, but you get a couple of magazines, which might be of use to me at some stage. Or maybe I won't get any magazines. There we go. There's two. Oh shit, am I full of stuff? Right, let's go back then. Hey, an electronics truck. Have I looted you? I have. Deeply saddening news, I'm sure. Really quickly before I go back to my base, I'm going to go check when Trader Joel actually resets. Because it might be worth checking again for a couple of vehicle magazines. He resets tomorrow. Then it would be wise to come back tomorrow and check him again. Right, so... Oh wait, my pump action shotgun's done, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get that equipped with some stuff. We can scrap the double barrel, it's of no real use to me now. Oh yeah, they removed the ability to put the two times scope on the pump action shotgun because the fun pimps hate fun. What other mods can I put on here then? I've got even more shit I could sell. I didn't even notice this big pile of stuff here. I will sell those in the morning. Okay, I don't have any other mods I can put on a shotgun, but now I can at least do it. Or what's on this? Curriculum that conflicts with the rad remover, so it doesn't really work. Yeah, we have this now, so that's good. Eight shots, solid. Um... Much better than two, I'm sure you'll agree. In the morning we'll give this a test, but I do want to check the traders for any potentially very easy magazines I could get. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Right, it's the morning of day 16, the traders won't open for a couple of hours, so let's go find someone to terrorise in the meantime. I've been here. Yes, I have. I know I haven't done this place, let's have a look. Well, the shotgun's good. What part of my armor's damaged this time? Uh, I don't have any cloth on me anyway. Although, no, I have a padded arm armor in my bicycle inventory, but that's no real use to me down there, is it? Oh, I forgot how good the shotgun stun is. Makes them so slow. Anyone up here? Nope. I hate the end loop. Uh, shotgun Messiah. Targets within 3 meters have a high dismemberment chance. Nice, that's a really good one. Working stiff tools. Tools digest cool. All works to get me where I need to go eventually. Another fucking beaker. Oh my fucking god. That is the fourth one. <laughs> right, well, let's go back to Trader Joel. My inventory's full anyway. Okay, no vehicle adventures at Joel, but there is uh, Jen as well. There we go, got a bunch of money. They got anything good? No, let me buy a drink. I have stuff at home, but I have money to spare, so it's fine. So, yeah, I'll go up to Jen now, see if she's got any. She 
probably won't, but if she does, it would be really, really helpful for saving time. If she doesn't, I'll keep searching the nearby POIs to her. She's got a lot of them there. Most of the ones near here are very much looted, so it's kind of annoying. Hey, Jen, you got any good books for me? Oh, she's got three. Perfect. Well, actually, I think it's one more than I need, but I'll take it. But yeah, I was right to come here. More first aid bandages as well. I'm also going to buy these pipe bombs because I'm lazy. Let's see, forge ahead and three vehicle adventures. Right, we can now make mini bikes, which would be a substantial upgrade, mostly for the inventory capacity more than anything, but it would be nice to use less stamina cycling around, obviously. Uh, let's see, so we'd need another 14. Nope, that's 24. I'm very good at maths, I promise. Very, very good at math. Um, so the mini bike chassis needs forged iron, nothing too crazy there, and the mini bike handlebars, again, nothing too crazy. I might have to scrap a couple of things here or there, but mostly I think we have everything we need for that. The big issue is going to be gas because, ugh, I don't have a chemistry station despite all my millions and billions of beakers, and I obviously don't have a desert biome and I obviously also don't really have the best uh, scrapping tools because I need really good ones compared to the base game because I'm using such low block damage. I probably want to make a steel, what's it called, a ratchet as soon as I can get one. Even just a tier one would probably be pretty good, but I'm a few books away from that. Actually, how many books am I away from that? Let's see, I need two more to get level five wrenches, three more to get level one ratchets. That's not unobtainable, but let's focus on the mini bike first. I can always buy gas from the traders, but obviously money is harder in this challenge because quests just throw it at you and I'm not allowed to do quests, but it's not, not crazy difficult to get, that's for sure. You get a lot of books you can't use in this game if you just hold on to them, or armor you can't use, hold on to those and sell it off. You should be able to keep up on money. It's very rare the traders actually sell anything good anymore. Now they're kind of just useful for um, sort of like one-off items like the beaker, the cigar, or the nerdy glasses, or they're useful for more mundane things like wood, cobblestone, gas, steel. Whereas in like Alpha 20, you used to be able to actually buy good gear from them. But now you've got to wait till a very high trader stage for that. At which point you'll probably have the stuff anyway, if you're playing normally. So yeah, traders are not as good as they used to be for getting stuff. If I was doing this challenge in Alpha 19, I would have a pump action shotgun like level 5 on day 7. Because the trader would be selling one and I'd just be like, okay, I'm gonna buy that obviously. And then I would go around and scrap a bunch of cars, get a billion batteries and sell them off. Right, so first up, mini bike chassis. Forged iron. Do I have any made up? I do. I also need mechanical parts. Duct tape I definitely won't have made up, but I've got glue lying around. Leather. There's some leather. I've got more than that. I think I put it in the cloth box though. Uh, the one electrical part I need. And then just duct tape. Glue. Like six duct tape. I'm going to need more of this probably. Okay, so that's what you need for that. And then the mini bike handlebars is springs. Here we go. Headlights electrical parts and short iron pipes. I might actually not have any of those because I use them to make pipe bombs, so I might have to craft a few. Oh no, here we go. Right, let's queue up the handlebars and then the chassis. And then for the actual mini bike, I have everything I need except for the wheels. Are the wheels around or am I going to have to spend acid on those? I would hate that. Do I actually not have wheels? That's so weird. Um, They're extremely common loot. If you can find like a gas station and find a couple of passing gas containers, they have them. Obviously, in this playthrough, I did have to craft my own bicycle. So I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, I've got the two acid. I just kind of don't want to spend it. All right, what do we need for wheels? Uh, more forged iron. Let's see, I'll actually have to craft that because I know I don't have any. So three more forged iron. Scrap polymers. Here we go. Oil. Coal. Hmm. There's two acid. There's 13 coal, but that's not enough. Okay, bizarrely, I need to go get a bunch of coal. That's fine, though. <laughs> of all the things to be missing for a mini bike, it's the coal. I got some around here. There's some. I only need a little bit, so this shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Just need to hit it like twice. Uh, I can make these in my inventory. What am I missing? Oh, yeah, the three more forged iron. Let's go back to my base really quickly. There we go, queue up another wheel. How are these doing? Ah, they're done too. Once that wheel's done, I should have everything I need to make the actual mini bike. Just need a wheel. I'll take another minute after that, that's fine. There we go, craft that. I need to get a drink. Where's that mineral water? There we go. 
Hey, right, let's see if I can round up all the gas I have, which is probably not all that much. Yeah, where's my wrench? Let's go and hunt down a couple of cars while we wait for it to craft then, I suppose, because I will need gas. I suppose I could check how much it costs at Trader uh, Joel. That might be worth doing. Just to hold me off until I can at least get a decent ratchet. Okay, so it's 90 per 100, so it would cost you a lot of money to get a lot. Let's get like a thousand. That's enough to fill a mini bike tank. And the mini bike will obviously help quite a bit in getting more gas because you'll save a lot of stamina. Because right now, if I want to, you know, let's say there's a car over here, I gotta cycle over to it, which I could do at this absolutely agonizing speed. Well, let's be real here, I'm gonna sprint cycle so when i eventually find this car i'm hypothetically thinking of uh let's see here's one when i eventually reach the car i'm at half stamina and then i have to painfully and slowly scrap down this car and at the end of it i'll probably only get like a hundred gas so yeah the the mini bike will at least reduce half of the annoyance there but i really do need a better wrench but i can probably count on three scrapping books coming pretty soon so I won't stress about it too much. Hey, there's an acid at least. Forgot I had that thing. This will be a lot more worthwhile now because I will need at least two more acid to make my chemistry station once I have that ability. And I'll probably need at least two more wheels in this playthrough, but I'll probably loot them. The first time I've had to craft wheels since like early Alpha 19, I think. There we go. Yeah, 170 gas. Not great, but it's something. Mini bike done. There we go. We can finally say goodbye to using the bicycle. Ah, it's so shitty, but it feels like driving a race car compared to a bicycle, so let's go find some stuff to do with the rest of the day. Those three, uh, scrapping books, actually, would be a good thing to try and get. Kind of a hard one to guarantee, though, but I have a point in salvage ops, so I should have a higher chance than finding vehicle books, for example. Let's see, if I loot this barn here, because this usually has some working stuff tools in it, which would obviously have a solid chance of giving me scrapping stuff, though not the best. Hi. Yeah, I one-shot him, nice. Is there a boar around here today? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's still Arlene. Ow. Ooh, let's go in here. Is there anything good in here? I don't remember. Surely something under these hay piles. Sealed shipping crate. Ah, secret stash then. Uh, let's see. A muzzle break and knuckles. Okay. Okay. Okay, game. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry. Can't really solve that right now. Hold still, you shits. Let's see. Great heist. No stamina will sneak sprinting. That's pretty good. Banded arm plate as well. An extra 2% damage resistance is never bad. Oh, you can only put one mod on that. What about you? There we go. The mods and ammo. The meds. Forge ahead. A single bone knife. Okay. Well, that was extremely shitty, but whatever. Let's see, skill points. I probably don't want to use that one on Grease Monkey now, because I am trying to actually get scrapping books just for a little bit, so that would only interfere with that further. Once that's out of the way, I'll probably will use it for that. Let's go find another POI. I have so much storage in there, I can actually use it. I don't think I finished Moe's grocery, although I've definitely looted the end of it. Anybody here? Maybe I did clear it. But then why is the front door closed? Why did I not open it? That's weird. Oh well, I guess I have been here. Let's check this place. Tier 3, right? Oh, tier 2. Okay. Another wrench. Whoa. Oh, another wandering horde, seriously? Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, that seemed inevitable, to be honest. Well, that was a nice little bump of XP, I suppose. Anybody in here? Some books. It's an armor. Oh, you're feral. That's not good. Ailing cabinet. Big hitters and wiring. Now, another pipe machine gun. Where do I go now? Oh, I see. Slide. Hello. This is probably dangerous, to be honest. Grab the loot. Run. A good book, not particularly. 
Ow. Is the first aid kit worth it? Eh, yeah, probably. Medical journal. Pick these shamway crates. I mean, surely I'll get some kind of edible food from this, right? Could go back to my base, but I don't want to. Ravioli, salmon, and a home cooking weekly. Shotguns. Okay, let's keep looking. Okay, cement mixer. Didn't know there was one of those in this POI. No, I know. We can make cement mixers now as well, but that's not too helpful for me. This place probably has working stiff tools crates. I don't think I've ever done it though, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Am I supposed to go over this? I'm so confused. Where the zombies hiding? Ah, hello. Behind me. Hey. Pipe rifles at quality 3. Yay, I'm saved. Probably a dog here. I hear him. Where is he though? He's stuck on the barbed wire over there. Hey, come back here. Damn, he's fast. Hey, an ambulance back here. Cars are a decent source of various books, actually. Maybe I should search these. Oh, there's also a book pile on the floor. That would also be smart to search. Tools Digest. We can make augers at level 3 now. That pistol I already know, which is unfortunate, but I'll live. In an engine. What's going on over here? Any zombies? Let me try this engine real quick. Are they above me? Where are they? Oh, I see. I mean, at least that's somewhat creative, to be fair. Who else did I aggro? Oh, there's another one back here. Bye bye. Crapping for fun. Need like two more. There's also a thing up there that I'm interested in. Onwards. No, this seems like a bad place. Oh, he's dead. Perfect. More of these engines. These used to all give you one engine. I miss those days. Now you have like a 5% chance. How do you have a 5% chance of getting an engine from an engine? I don't understand. Oh, hi. Follow me outside. Medical journal and a first aid kit. Grapping. We can make wrenches at quality 5, which might be worth doing. Shotguns and big hitters again. Of course, now that I don't need either of those, the loot table is just filled with them. That's how it always works. Oh, just checking my fucking inventory. Dickhead. Here we go. Who else is around then? Oh, this looks like a fun area. Hey, where are they hiding all the zombies then? Probably above. Yeah, I see the guys moving already. I'm gonna jump through this barbed wire, because I don't give a fuck. Bunch of other people in there. How many of you are in there? Oh, I don't need this anymore. I can just hit them. Well, that was a million zombies. Let's see if the loot was worth it. Egg planet and rad remover and the woodcutter mod for an axe or something. I don't really have much to put those on yet. And ammo stuff. Grapping for fun. We can make a ratchet at quality one now. That's probably worth doing. How long is it until I get like, quality two though? If it's like one more book I can hold. Ah, that's like so long. Probably just make a quality one then. Good tools digests. Uh, vehicle adventures. Cool. Always nice to get one of those, even when you don't really need one right now. Let's open up this chest. Scrapping for fun. Tools Digest. Better boots than what I have. Let me dump some stuff and I'll get those mods back. And a couple of other useful things. Okay, this is pretty decent BOI, actually. Except for that last section where there's 100,000 zombies, but hey, I handled it. Okay, let's head back to my base and make that upgraded um, ratchet. Although I'm going to need to get steel. That's always a pain in the ass. Especially since my main source of steel, other than buying it, is obviously ratcheting it. Well, wrenching. Eight. That's not too bad, actually. I can probably do that. Let's see. Where's that gas station near here? I could probably get that from just wrenching the, um... Oh, what are they called? The gas pumps. Ah, down here. There's two forged steel. There we go. There's four. I could technically wrench that vending machine, but they're a miserable source of steel. Let's, uh, get some of these lampposts instead. Here's seven. There's another lamppost. Ah, there's one over here. Oh, garbage cans? Pumpkin seeds. There's eight forged steel. I'll finish scrapping this though, so I don't confuse myself later. There we go. Just need a couple duct tape now. One of which I can actually just make now. Let's head back to my base. Also, for future reference, this wrench did like 22 damage. That's when it's slightly damaged though. Hang on. Maybe I should repair it and test it if they work like augers at all. Checking. Let me find another car. Make the maths. Foolproof. Okay, no. So wrenches aren't affected by durability and this one does about 22 damage. Which is dog shit. And there we go. There's the ratchet. So the stats comparison is 16. It actually does a little bit less damage. Oh no. How is that even possible? <laughs> and the stamina cost is more. Right, let's give this a test. 
This is interesting if that is actually the case. Something they may even have to patch. If it's that shitty. Let me go find something to actually wrench though. Those damage values are misleading half the time anyway. Where is a car? Ah, here's one. I'm assuming I haven't damaged this. Let's see. Okay, it does a lot more damage. This did 36 damage. Which is like 50% more, but it's listed as doing a lot a lot less damage, which is very strange. Still, this is doing about 50% more damage. That's probably pretty worthwhile. Costs a little bit more stamina as well, but presumably not a huge amount. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's pretty manageable. So this will substantially increase the speed I can do these things at. That combined with the fact that the mini bike can get me around without using stamina means it should be a lot easier to do this stuff. And I could even go out at night and do it if I wanted to. Okay, so today we got a couple of decent upgrades. We got the pump action shotgun, we got the mini bike, and the ratchet, which is a pretty good place to be. What should I do next though? Let's see. I probably want to focus on just getting rid of harvesting tools now. I have all the basic stuff I need. If I can get rid of harvesting tools, I can dump points in Grease Monkey and Lockpicking and start properly power leveling workstations and vehicles. Once I have the best vehicle I want and I have the best um, workstations I need, the chemistry station and the crucible being the main ones, everything else will fall into place because there's no real point in me getting the ability to make like level 5 auto shotguns until I can just produce 150 steel quite quickly. That would that would be like 3 days of work for me right now so there's no real benefit to going much further. I wouldn't say no to like a level 3 pump shotgun and then just wait until level 1 auto shotguns come around and probably will just wait for level 5 steel clubs to come around as well. So we're doing pretty good, we're on, we're on the cusp of reaching the end of the tech barrier even without questing probably be around about where I want to be by like day 28 at the latest which isn't much different from the base game it's just you go about it very differently and it starts off a lot slower and I can put mods on my wrench here to make it even better let's see what can what kind of damage can that do find another car really quickly it was 36 now it's 49 that's not bad if we can get it just a little bit higher that'll be quite useful yeah but all that will have to wait for the next episode uh, it'll be day 17 and 18. Probably get a decent amount of stuff done now that I have good guns and can probably do tier 4 POIs. It's probably going to help me snowball a bit. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series. And in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.